Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee. So today I'm coming to you guys with a more complex um, subject, I should say. Don't laugh, because I just washed my hair, you guys. <laughs> it's looking a hot mess. Um, but my hair is freshly washed, so I'm just going to like, um, finger, break my fingers through, and I got a piece of hair. Basically, we're doing a porosity test. And what you'll need for that is you just need a glass of water, which I have here, and a piece of hair that is clean, fresh, freshly washed. There's no products in your hair. Um, and we're going to put place this in the water. Okay, so it's hard to kind of capture this on camera. But these are my two strands. And as you can see, they are definitely floating. They're floating. So... Basically, when you initially drop the hair in, what I like to do is I like to submerge it in water. So when you drop your strands in, kind of like give it a swirl so it can do what it's supposed to do. And if it's low porosity, then it's going to continue to float. Um, if not... It's going to either sink to the middle or go to the bottom. You can let this test um, for about um, 10 minutes. So I'm just going to let my hair... Um, put it in there. I'm going to let my... It's like so curly it's not even getting in the water. So I'm going to let this hair sit here for 10 minutes while I finish this video. What this means is your hair cuticle does not let um, water or moisture in or out. Water opens your cuticle, right? So for low porosity, it's very important for you to add the moisture into your hair like on wash day, like immediately. So wash days are going to be really important to you. Wash days and your conditionings and your deep conditioning because this is when the most moisture can get into your hair. Um, so after wash day, your hair will be amazing as long as you follow a proper method to open the cuticle, add moisture, and then close it back up. Um, also steamers, like an actual steamer, will be helpful for you too. So those are just some tips for low porosity hair. Let's move on to normal porosity, which of course is the more desirable <laughs> level um, because your hair pretty much doesn't really give you much fuss. Um, your cuticles open when they're supposed to and they close just as easy. So it lets moisture in, it seals it, um, and you know, your hair really takes well to like certain things like if you know, if you can remember your relaxer days and you straightened your hair, you didn't have to keep your perm on that long. Your hair immediately was straight. Or if you color process your hair, your hair turned colors immediately. It ended up looking exactly like it did on the box. <laughs> then most likely you have normal porosity, um, which this is a good and a bad thing. More so good. It's good because your hair tends to be very moisturized. And when your hair is moisturized, that means it's more shiny, it's soft, it's more curly and bouncy, and you don't really have a problem with frizz. However, um, there are things that can happen that can change your porosity level. If you use too many chemicals or harsh products or heat, you can go from normal porosity to high porosity. And um, we'll get into high porosity in a second, um, but basically these chemicals and bad products and heat can change your hair. Like it can create gaps in spaces in your hair cuticle, which basically makes them stay open, which means a lot of moisture will go in, but it will not be sealed because you have pretty much damaged your cuticles. Um, so definitely to keep normal porosity hair, definitely 
use a really great natural products um, and really just try to keep your hair at a normal, you know, a normal porosity level. If it's high porosity, your strands sink to the bottom of your cup. It's not really that bad because there's things that you can do to make your hair the best it can be um, but basically high porosity means that the hair cuticles remain open um, so because your cuticles are open water and moisture they I mean it fills up your hair so easily it just goes in there but it doesn't stay it goes out just as fast because they are open um, so what you need to do is you need to focus on thicker um, conditioners thicker thicker butters and oils and creams um, you should use products like these because they basically fill in your cuticle so your cuticle is your cuticle is all already open during wash day you wash your hair and everything um, and you add your um, leave-ins you add your um, oil and your cream and then you want to seal it with a thicker a thicker oil because all of these thicker products are filling in the gap so it's making the illusion of your cuticles being closed um, so deep conditioning is very very important for high porosity um, and you, um, you definitely, definitely need to be on a set schedule or, or regimen for your hair because you will need to fill in these gaps often or your hair will be super dry, um, it'll be frizzy and it will damage easy. So, um, so yeah, you definitely need to stay on top of it. And Anyway, I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions please let me know and I will be more than happy to answer um, but also check out my blog I started blogging again you guys so go to my blog I'll leave the link below and I have a really detailed written out post about porosity about this rent about um, the lock method it's like so much stuff on there I've been blogging once a day so um, definitely stay up to date on my blog and I'll be back and I'll see you in my next video thank you guys so much for watching goodbye Thank you.